Hi, welcome. This is another video on BandLab. Um, I'm focusing on MIDI mapping with this particular video. Um, hopefully you'll be able to find um, some pointers that will help you with your um, playing or mixing after you've done your recordings. Okay, so let's jump into the mixer. So, here we've got the main mixer. Um, I've got four tracks. An instrument track, uh, two instrument tracks, a voice track and a guitar track. Okay, um, in the middle of the screen I've got a webcam of my keyboard with some of my faders that are there. Okay, um, and this is what we're going to be using to map. Other things I've got on my particular controller keyboard are some buttons over here. And I've also got some knobs this end of my keyboard. So these are different sorts of components that I can map with my particular controller keyboard. Um, later in the video, I'll be looking at how to map another particular controller. Um, that's a Bluetooth controller that um, isn't a keyboard. It does have some knobs and buttons and faders that you can also map to different things. So hopefully these two things will give you some ideas on what you can do with your particular setup. So to get started, We've got to go down to MIDI mapping. So we click on MIDI mapping, and then this brings up some of the parameters that you can actually map. Okay, so let's start off with some of these faders. So to map something, all you have to do is make sure your device is connected to your computer, which I've done, and then select it and move the fader. As easy as that. And you'll notice on the right here that the mappings have happened. Let's do the second fader. So I select it, move the fader, select the next one, move the fader, select the next one, move the fader. So there I've mapped all of those faders. Okay, I might also map this one over here, and I can move that one as well. So let's see what these look like. So untick MIDI mapping. Let's start off with the main volume fader over here, and I can turn that up and down. Let's move over to the first track, and I can move that without having to use the mouse. Move to the second one, the third one, and the guitar one. So I've got control over all of those faders uh, with my controller. Um, the next thing I might want to look at is, let's map one of the knobs. So I'm going to map this one. Let's move my camera over a little bit. There we go. So I'm going to map this knob on the corner here, all I'll do is got to turn it, and then that one's mapped. Let's give that one a go. I go up there, and then that one moves. Okay, let's go back again. This time, let's look at mapping some of these mute buttons. So for these ones, I am going to use my pads over here. So let's select the first mute. Then select the first one, I'll do the solo, next mute, next solo, and let's see those ones in action. Just check, yep, they've all mapped. Turn them off, and then mute, the first mute, that one works, the first solo, and that mutes the other tracks when you solo. The next mute, the next solo. I might want to go the first and the second mute, and then you'd hear the voice track and guitar track if that was playing. So I've got control over those. Um, let's move to the play and record button. So let's clear some of these mappings out the way. And you just have to click on the trash can to remove those. So let's, because I'm going to reuse some of these buttons. So let's go to the play. I'm going to put that on this corner one. And then I'm going to use the record one for this one. Okay, so let's have a go with those. So coming over here, let's make sure my keyboard is selected. Yep, because I didn't have to have that device selected there. Um, you need to make sure you've got device selected in order to play the instrument. Okay, so I've got that selected and I can play that on my keyboard. So let's have a look at the, turn those off. Let's go play, let's make sure that works. So I can play and hear all the tracks. Let's rewind that. Let's hit record. And then I can stop that with the button. 
really, really useful to be able to control um, the parameters on your computer just from um, your keyboard or controller. Okay, so let's move on. So we've done some mappings. We've mapped all the visible ones at the moment. Um, oh, actually, what I might do is show you some other things that you can map. So let's turn off this webcam for the moment. So while I've got the keyboard selected here, if I come down to effects, now on this track I've already put some effects and you can see that there's all these different things that you can control. Okay, so you can map any of these components. So I might want to turn on and off the delay with this on and off button for that thing. Okay, um, if I was on my guitar track and I happen to have, what do we got here, a guitar amp or cab set up, I might have a few different sorts of amps and things set up and I just want to switch between them as I'm playing. Um, you can set it up to be able to turn these on and off um, or be able to adjust some of the controls as you're playing. You might think, oh, I need a little bit more gain, I need a little bit more um, drive. Um, or you're not hearing the treble enough in the solo, you can adjust those things as you're playing them. Okay, really, really useful. Um, next, I want to look at a different controller. So let's get rid of those mappings. And I'll bring my webcam back up. Okay, let's move that back into the middle. Now this particular controller, it's a Bluetooth controller. It's got some faders, it's got some knobs, it's got some buttons, um, but it's not physically attached to my computer. Okay, it happens to be Bluetooth. Um, some people like using Bluetooth for recording, some people want it hardwired. Um, but let's give this one a go. So this is already connected to the computer. So all I need to do is then map it. So I'm going to select this first fader again and then move my first fader on this controller. I'll select the second one move the second fader, third one, and the fourth one. Okay, so I've got three faders there which I can adjust, which I think... Oh, what have I done? I've got the fourth one selected. So that's that one, three, two, one. Okay, when you do have it selected, make sure that you don't actually touch another fader. Um, until you've deselected something. So we've got those mapped. Let's go and select some of these. So I'm going to map that to that knob. I'm going to map the second one. Um, I'm going to do the mute button. I've got a lot of buttons up here. I'll do the solo button. I might do the next one while I'm here. And solo. Doesn't take too long to get going. Okay. Now, one of the things I find, once you've got everything mapped the way you like it, one of the things I recommend you do, and I'll move my webcam out of the way, is to come up and save it. In order to save, you have to have something within the file. Whether you just record something, just a chord, put a loop, something has to be in the work area here in order for you to save it. Then save it as maybe a MIDI template, um, and then in your library, you can duplicate that and then use all the MIDI mapped um, settings ready to go in the next time you happen to use it without having to map everything every time you start a new project. So that's a really helpful tip to make sure you save the project and then duplicate it whenever you need to reuse the same mappings again and again. Okay, so we've just mapped the first fader, second fader, third fader, fourth fader, I've got the pan, I've got the other pan, I've got the mute, solo, mute, solo, all working there. Okay, so that's a bit of an understanding on how to map um, these different things. Well, hopefully you've been able to find this video useful and that you've been able to um, learn a few interesting tips. Please comment below on anything that you found useful. I'm also keen to hear of any ideas for future videos that you might need some help with or you just might have a question um, relating to what I've done and how I've gone about a few of these sorts of things. If you happen to have used a different keyboard or controller, uh, please let me know um, and I can help you with those sorts of things and getting them connected also. Don't forget to subscribe 
and thanks for listening.